stop before you go out and buy one of these new trending handbags you're gonna want to watch this video to the end welcome to the handbag heaven today we are talking about the top five 2024 handbag trends that you probably already have in your collection you know, sometimes I could get so caught up in the excitement of watching these runway shows that I don't realize while the style and materials and colors are different or have been presented in a different way, the overall basic handbag design is still the same. Listen, I'm not one to chase down trends, but I do love a good design and style that just so happens to be trending. When it comes to fashion trends, they are cyclical. And lately, trends seem to be coming back around more frequently. One could say that these trends never go out of style. But if it never goes out of style, is it really a trend or is it a staple? Whether you are into fashion or not, everyone should have those staples that fit their lifestyle to make accomplishing your purpose easy. And if that is a handbag, then you're on the right channel. Some of the bag styles on this top five trends list have been staples for decades and are probably sitting in your closet right now. So let's get them out and start styling them. Number one, oversized tote bag. Totes are perfect for everyday use and can hold all of your essentials while still looking cheap. One of the trends in 2024 is to wear the tote as a day clutch. Another trend is to wear a large tote and a small bag, like a bag charm together. The best thing about this trend is that most likely you already have a tote bag in your collection. If you don't have an oversized tote, then maybe you want to consider adding this to your wish list if it fits your lifestyle. Whether you want to splurge on one of the hottest 2024 bags like the Margo bag from the row or the Prada bag, or if you want to save on a more affordable bag like this tote from Coach, the options are limitless. One of my favorite new bags is from Balenciaga, believe it or not, because I'm not a fan of this brand but I do like their Bel Air bag and I think the other one is the Rodeo. I just love the slouchiness of those bags. Although tote bags are on trend, it's also a very classic style that can be worn for years to come. Like the tote bags I already have in my collection. So in my closet, I have the Hermes Garden Party tote. Now I plan to wear this with that slouchy look I want to wear this like as a day clutch. So I'm not planning to have like stuff hanging out of it or a bunch of charms all over it like in the Balenciaga runway show. But I did add one little charm. And by the way, this is not an Hermes charm. This is just a little charm that I brought online on Instagram. And I have a Hermes Twilly on it. So the color of this bag is Cassis and I enjoy styling this bag with neutrals. This Cassis color is the only pop of color I need. So I love pairing it up with neutrals. I also like that bag on bag trend with the little mini bag on the larger bag. So I'm planning to wear my peekaboo which is the larger size peekaboo with my little mini like charm bag my fendi charm bag in the zuka print now the interior of my fendi peekaboo is also the zuka print as well next up is the mini backpack trend this trend has been making a comeback and it's great for when you want to go hands free but still make a statement see everyone should have a backpack but i'm gonna have to be honest i'm not or i wasn't really a fan of backpacks in the past but i did come around for the mini backpacks i absolutely love the minis they are so cute to me i i guess i like backpacks that actually don't look like a traditional backpack but looks more you know like a bag instead of a backpack 
Each of the luxury brands have their own version of a mini backpack. So if you are looking to add one of these to your collection, there are many options at different price points. So I added this Chanel mini backpack to my collection in 2023. I mean, this was a splurge, but it was really a gift from my husband. I have a full video review of this bag. I will put the link up on screen. So if you want to check that out as well, I also have some affordable backpacks in my collection, like this beautiful coach backpack. I absolutely love this pink color. I like that it. it's two tone because it's a lighter and a darker pink on it. Now on this one, I chose to add some embellishments. Like I have this keychain with the little flowers on it. And I brought this cute little strap that goes well with this backpack. But this backpack to me is reminiscent of one of the Chanel backpacks that was so popular. I think it came out in 2022. But I know it was really popular last year as well. But I just could not see myself spending that much for it. So I ended up with this more affordable backpack. Number three on the list is the bucket bag. The bucket bag is a stylish alternative that adds variety to your personal style. The modern bucket bags today are compact. They're smaller, but they're also functional. And what I like about most of them, they have become more versatile. I'm talking about the bucket bags that have the little top handle on it. Some of them even have like the pocket. So they're like the cargo pocket style. They don't just have that drawstring closure. They have some hardware on it to, you know, give it a little updated look. And they also have, some of them have like the partition in the middle, giving you like a front area and a back area, as well as like a zipper pocket on the partition area. The bucket bags have been around since like the 80s. So it's likely that you already have one of these in your collection. In my collection, I recently added this beautiful Hermes Picatin pocket. So this is a little different than the regular Picatin bucket bag. This one actually have the pockets on the outside of it. Again, like I said, that's one of the, the you know more modern looks that have been kind of added to the bucket bags now. But yeah, I added this on last year around my birthday time. I unboxed it. I have a whole video talking about this bag in detail. So make sure you check that out if you're interested. But I absolutely love this bag. I love styling it. I love the colors that I chose for this. I also have the Coach Willow bag in my collection. I got this bag as a gift. It was a Mother's Day gift, actually, from my sons. So I love this little bag. I took it into my local Coach store at the Mall of Millennia, and they were able to add some little floral flowers on it. And they had an artist in there on the day that I came in. I cannot remember the artist's name. But he actually drew or painted this little flower at the bottom of it. I think that is so cute. The colors match perfectly. Now this little top handle, I actually added this myself. I got this from Amazon. Now it does come with its own top handle, but it's a little plain. So I had to zhuzh it up a little bit, make it more me. So I added this little braided handle and I think it fits so nicely and so cute but what I like about this bag oh yeah I can't forget about my Orlando skyline they actually did that at the store as well but what I like about this bag is having the two separate compartments and the zipper compartment in the middle I think this bag is very easy to keep your stuff organized in and I love the little see the little coach turn lock on the front. I think that makes it look so adorable. Moving on to trend number four, we have the East West bag trend. And I am so here for this trend. This trend is all about the stylish silhouette of the bag. So for a creative like myself, this is a must have in my bag collection okay in 2024 i think the trend focused more on the elongated look and i am so here for that i love that 
Some of the new designs that have been catching my eye includes the Bottega Veneta Andiamo bag. I did a video on this bag in terms of finding dupes for this. So make sure you check out that video because I have some interesting finds in that video. I feel like all of the brands are jumping onto this trend. Like LV has a couple. Chanel actually has some vintage bags out there. So if you're interested in this, check out those as well. I was interested in the Dior bags and now I see they have more colors. So this is going to be interesting. Like even Givenchy has their version of this bag. But y'all, I absolutely love what Bottega is doing with this, even with the clutches with that elongated look. So in my collection, I actually wanted the Lady D Joy bag, but that really didn't work out. I, someone tried to scam me on eBay with that. Check out the video. I go into what happened with that situation. But I do have this beautiful LV clutch in my collection. I've done a video talking about this limited edition bag. Check out my video on it. But I am thrilled to have this in my collection. It's been like almost, well, it's been a year now. So I'm enjoying this bag. I also recently added this to my collection. I'm technically on a no spin. This is just an early birthday present for me. But this is the LV triangle bag. Like literally, I cannot wait until my birthday. I couldn't wait. I actually wore this for Throwback Thursday. Like I absolutely love this bag. I think this is the perfect East West bag for me. It's an OG. You can't go wrong with that. Look, this bag is 30 years old and it's still trendy. It's still fitting the trend today. So you can't beat that. Last but not least, there is the cargo bag trend. This option is perfect for when you want to organize your essentials without the hassle of a traditional bag. But look, it's not like the old school cargo bags, like my Fendi peekaboo pockets. These are more elongated. So similar to the East West style, these cargo bags are more of the longer rectangular shape and not the North South square shape so in my collection i do have a few cargo bags one is this lv utility bag that came out a few years ago like i think 2021 2022 maybe but this bag fits my personal style so well and it's one of my favorite bags now i had high expectations for this bag i talk about that in my review of this bag so if you're interested I have the link to the video. Also, I have this Michael Kors bag. Now, this bag came out some years ago, and I think I actually had this before the LV bag came, but this one reminded me of the Chanel camera bag, which, you know, it was, it's, this is still like more of a camera bag shape, but adding the pockets is giving me that cargo look. And I love that. I just added this heavy weighted chain to this bag to give it a little vibe. Kind of the vibe. I was going for a more edgier vibe than like the Chanel bag. Vibe is more, you know, bougie. But I love this bag. I still use it quite a bit. So I know the North South style pocket bags are not it. But I'm still going to wear my bag. So I'm still going to wear my Fendi. And I'm still going to wear my Pinkerton pocket bag because I'm just going to wear it because it's just me. I don't have to stay on trend. I like doing my own thing anyway. So you may have some bags in your collection that don't necessarily line up exactly like the trend. But hey, do your thing. Because listen, style is personal and my style is purse anal. So there you have it. This is the top five trends that 
is probably already in your collection. So which one of these trends, or if not all, did you find in your closet? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it. Let's chop it up because some of you may be surprised that you actually had these trends sitting in your closet and you were getting ready to go out and spend some more money. Going through the bags in my closet have definitely reduced the amount of bags I had on my actual wish list. So I'm getting ready to release a new video with my updated wish list. So make sure you click that notification bell so you will be notified when the video is released. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more fashion tips and trends. Also, follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching.